Good day and welcome to another edition of Outside of Genie. We, we will be previewing the last meeting from Scottsville today, the 20th of December, five days away from Christmas. So um, for today's preview starts in race three, as we do not do a preview on the first race, which is the work riders. I'm not sure about the work riders in KwaZulu Natal or down in Gauteng, it's not a problem. And the second race is a maiden juvenile for two year olds, which I also don't do a preview on because of lack of form. And, and these two years old, they are unpredictable. So we start here with race three, a maiden plate over a thousand meters, uh, always on my mind, 22 to 10, Water splash, a first timer, 11 to 2, 6 to 1, Lundy Island, 13 to 1, Trinadora, 9 to 1, Cash Express, Beckoning Beauty, 10 to 1, Shower of Silver, 12 to 1, Never Ending Love, 14 to 1, and QNZ, 14 to 1, 12, 20 to 1, and Better the Race Crash, number 1, and number 6. So let's have a look here at the form where my first selection is. The, just quickly for those who are watching this video for the first time, uh, how I do my selections is in order to keep the video um, not too long, um, I do my first selection is my outright selection that can be at any price. I have given outside selections as high as 33 and 51 that has one. And the other two selections is my outsider selections in no particular order. And um, uh, and I will also maybe touch on one or two of the other horses in order to keep this um, video as short as possible. So my first selection in race three, my outright win, uh, selection is number four, Lundy Island. A member in the Atel Philly from Golf Pooler's Table. Good luck riding. This horse has been running there and thereabouts, but last time that improved behind Great Diva. And already from that form, three runners, one winner. And um, yeah, the horse did run on well. Fastest 400 to finish 24.2, but that was on the poly. But it has run before on um, um, Scottsville. And I've got now the doubt that this horse is finding its feet and will definitely be a, a contender at the finish when the photos are taken. My outsider selections is number two and three. Number two being um, Never Ending Love. Uh, from the Prince to a, a, a stable. This horse has changed stable since it last run, but did improve at getting the minus two and a half from this uh, jockey Gumenu, who's running, who's riding quite well. He is finding the winners. And as you see, he's already on a minus two and a half. Drawn three, which is a big advantage at Scottsville. And the horse also ran on nicely last time out, passed some. And I think today, um, over a thousand meters, um, might be a little bit short, but there's not a very strong field. So number three, never ending love, or was that you want to include in all your betting as with number two, a beca a beca becoming um, becoming beauty, uh, what a winter by, by Dynasty Me and nicely bred. Uh, was nine lengths behind, although and in fifth place last time out, lagged and then he passed some, 23, 23, passes 400 to finish. Um, Aston Harris is riding some nice winners. Also drawn two, and I think number two, Beckoning Beauty, will be running a better race. In, yeah, and then, um, as we said, we just quickly have a look here. The favorite is number 10. I'll have a look at it now, and also at number 12, what a splash. So let's have a look at number 10. Number 10, always on my mind, as a, a musket, a stable, um, recently changed stables from Brick Crawford. I think Mr. Musket took over all Brick Crawford's horses here in KwaZulu Natal. Was 3.8 lengths behind Purple Merchant last time on Gravel over a thousand meters on, with Jacobs on minus two and a half, um, hung up and it's drawn 10, but down the stretch and not a problem. But I'm sure I do feel that my selection, London uh, uh, Island, has just got a little bit better um, form than, um, um, than this was because, as even if you can see here, in all his races, he finished 23.9, 23.5, 23.6, 400 to finish. That is a nice sign. Um, it's not it's not that fast, but it's not that slow either. So that is a reasonable time, 400 to finish. And if you have a look at number 10, he finishes 26 seconds, 23.8. So I do feel that my uh, number four, by the edge, it's over number 12, uh, number 10. Number 12 is a first timer. Um, which I'm not, it's another just a, a water winter by Jotpot, but it's not like the um, the form stands out, but must, must have shown something in work to be second favorite. So 
you need one to include that. And then number 13, Tenadora, is a horse that I've been following after his first race, but then he disappointed, but maybe today you want to include this into your play. Number 13, Trenadora, with Musi Yeni on board. Then we have the fourth race. Let's have a look at the betting here. The fourth race is, um, yes, number four, Camora, five to 10, Cardboard Cowboy, eight to one, 11 to 1, Cleto, 2 plus 12 to 1, Thorn, 18 to 1, 20 to 1, C C Cape Furland, 28 to 1, Disomano, Dis and longer the rest. So let's have a look here where my first selection is the favorite number five. It's going to be hard to go against number five, Camora, has shown a really good form in two of his three races. Um, in his first race at Scottsville, did run on um, well, 23.1. But last time out was second, but didn't run and well at the, at, at, at the end. And that is for me a little bit concerning. But today back over the 1,200 meters at Scottsville and might run a huge race. My outsider selections in this race is numbers one and three. Let's have a look at the number one, Cleto. He's a Van Sale, Gaian Van Sale Jr. That's also um, relocated from Gauteng to Scottsville and, and ran a reasonable day uh, race behind Sea Delight. We've looked for others from draw one today can improve, include into your play. Then number um, number three, Tuflis, uh, Coup de Gras by Captain Al, uh, Philly also, this horse um, has had one run at Scottsville, also a run behind scene, see the light as you can see here, was just behind number number three. And therefore I would think that, um, if we have a look here, number, number one was um, 4.1 lengths behind, see the light, and Tuflis was, 5.69 seems to like, but I think um, Tuflis uh, having his run under the belt can improve. I know the mayor Jenna has thrown a few winners in her time, so maybe a horse that you do want to include in all your play since Lyle Hewitson is on board. Then we move on to race number five. Race number five is another maiden plate over 1200 meters. Let's have a look at the betting. Here the betting is as follows. Number one, Winter Waves, 20, 12 to 10, 7 to 1, High Velocity, The Kingdom, 7 to 1, Shamuji, 7 to 1, Final District, 8 to 1, and 20 to 1, and better the rest. You know, guys, I have been preaching about this thing, the bookmakers price up anything that Martin, uh, uh, Anton Marcus um, writes. Now, yes, What's a Winter by Captain Almi, nicely bred. There was also, if you, uh, the, the previous race, you did see the form, seen the light, 1.65, um, it says here, yeah, restless, slow, ran on. Now, I don't see this horse, I don't think, I don't say those horse cannot win, but to, to bet seven to one the field, I can't understand it. I won't be rushing to take the 12 to 10. Unfortunately, Anton Marcus and favorites at this time don't have a good history, but the horse can win. He did debut on Scottsville, so he's there back in Scottsville, and he's running over 200 meters further. But my selection in this race is number 13, which is some Moosey, um, Doug Campbell on board, Moosey Yeni draw 13, which I also don't have a problem. This horse ran on behind Rainbow Rising, 40, 20, 400 to finish, fastest 400 to finish, uh, moved up and entire just needed the run. And have, has also run some nice previous races um, at Gravel. And I don't think it will have a problem with the Scotswood track. And I think 13 Shamusi is going to run a huge race here. My outsider selections being in numbers three and four. Three e being um, high velocity, golf puller, look for others drawn free. Look at how this horse finished um, 24.1, 10 links behind at the 400, six links behind at the finish. Beyond here, here comes the rain um, at Gravel and a yielding going from draw 9 out of 14, which I think was also a disadvantage. And I think High Velocity will run a huge race today, as is number 4, Final Destiny, another golf puller inmate. Um, also, this is finished under two links behind Rainbow Rising, lost two links. Um, let me just quickly see. Uh, I have seen the form somewhere, Rainbow Rising form. But I think this horse will also be approved, will also approve um, on this on this run, I see uh, Golf Puller has got a number of horses in this race. Um, so watch out for that. So then let's move on to the next race. 
which is race number six. Um, it's another maiden plate over 1,500 meters. Not a distance that I often run, but I see lately in Scottsville, the are 1,500-meter races. Here we have number six, Cafe Pacific, another golf pool, a Lyle Hewitson combination, 13 to 10, 5 to 1, Galabir, a first-timer, Parallel Universe, 11 to 2, Seeker Giver, 7 to 2, another first-timer, Northern Warrior, 12 to 1, 3 of Knowledge, 14 to 1, Kings List, 25 to 1, and 25 to 1, and longer the rest. So let's have a look here at race number six. Uh, race number six, my first selection being number six, and that is um, Cape Pacifica in a favorite. Lyle Hewitson, I think, yeah, yes, the rainbow, rainbow Rising, the form I was talking about, uh, this horse ran on well behind Rainbow Rising, and I think the 1500 meters will suit, and I think it might be this horse might be hard to beat in this race. In my outsider selections is number five, number five being. Um, Parallel Unowitz, which I think will definitely also run a huge rate. There's the Rainbow Rising form again. No fit, but I also think the 1,500 meters will definitely suit number five, Parallel Universe, being a philanthropist, philanthropist by a Silvano Med, definitely includes. And then number eight, three of knowledge, has run a, a second and a third, and then run dismissal behind Lord of the Manor. I don't know what the problem was, but... Um, it says they are late and then faded. Maybe if they ride this horse of a bit of constraint, I think this horse can also be involved in the finish. So let's move on to race number seven. Race number seven is a graduation plate over 17.50. Let's have a look at the betting. Here the betting is number one, native thumb, 13 to 10, shareholder, two to one, green light to even, nine to two, Banzai pipeline, 13 to two, 14 to one, and longer the rest. So let's have a look here at my selections, race seven. My first selection is number one, which is um, Native Tongue. Native Tongue is also the second best weighted horse in the race. Anton Marcus on board, but that really bothers me. But um, yeah, I do think that horse, this horse can win. Last time, two rounds back, ran behind Shed Holder um, and is running against Shed Holder again. So they might fi um, um, fight out the finish. I also like the look of Dragin right to even last time out running second to Ralph the Rascal. If he's still a young horse, can improve, can be involved in the finish. And then my other outsider selection, um, sorry, my outside, other outside selections is number four and number five. They're both out on the weights, but, uh, you know, sometimes these horses, they don't know that they're out on the weights and they do surprise and maybe can place, I think, number four and five horses that you can put into, um, into the play for... Um, for uh, one and you know, for the back end of your quartets, yes, number six shareholder, which beat number one native tongue last time out, and then was a kilogram native tongue was carrying a kilogram um, less than shareholder, and shareholder still beat it. Today they are carrying level weights. Oh no, sorry, there's a, a, a nice big swing in weight. Sorry, I apologize. Fifty-five and a half. 60 cents so or four and a half kilogram. So, based on that, native tongue must be shareholder um, in this race. Then we move on to race number eight, which is the last race. It's another maiden plate over 1750. Let's have a look at the betting here. The betting is as follows number five, Great Affair 19 to 10, Italian Dynasty 2 to 1, Road to Scott at 11 to 2, Bohemian Light 11, uh, 10 to 1, 10 to 1, Command Council 28 to 1, and longer the rest. So yes, let's have a look at race, race eight. My first selection here being number nine. Number nine being Road to Scotland. Um, this was as only had two runs, really improved in his second run um, over the 1,000 meters. And I do think that this was looking at the, at the breeding. I think the 1750 would definitely shoot this horse down to the ground. And I think Road to Scotland due to run a huge race today. Outsider selections is number four which is um, Great Grace Angel, the coup de grace by the she can also be looking for the different, the longer distance. And definitely, in, um, I would think you might, you might want to include this horse at the back end of your quartets. Um, then my other outsider selection is number 15, which is Alice Island. This horse ran on well last time out. A second faster to finish over the 2,000 meters, and I expected to run 
uh, a little bit better again today. So that brings us to the, uh, sorry, I just wanted to quickly have a look here. The favorite here is number five, Greater Fear. Let's just have a look at number five, Greater Fear. Greater Fear, Maven Cotson, uh, Music Any Drawn Five. Yeah, I've right, been running there and there about, and I think the 1750 will also suit as it was running on late in his last race, but definitely not a certainty. Maybe in this race with the big six, you just include the field. When you hit the field, you're hoping for the big outsider to come home. So all in all, um, I think it's a nice car today. I hope I could point you in the right direction. And as I always say, break a leg.